All right, so today we're going to be fixing up more stuff on the Matrix. I got a bunch of more random stuff that needed to be fixed on this car. So I have a new armrest because my armrest is missing the top half and it was broken. I have a new one of these bezels because I broke it when I first got the car, taking the radio part, even though I didn't even need to touch this. And then I got some spark plugs, oil filter. I don't know if I'm going to do this today or not, but this is for... Um, the adhesive to bond the windows to the little plastic pieces um, as well as a valve cover gasket so because this has a valve cover gasket leak so I'm gonna fix that as well but today let's just hop in real quick do the easy stuff let's get that armrest replaced let's re replace the trim and go from here all right so hopping in the car this is broken right here, so I'm gonna pull this out here. And just pretty much, hopefully everything is a plug and play replacement for the one I got here. It does look slightly different on the little toggle switch, but I think all the pieces are gonna be the same. All right, so out with the old. New one plugs right out. A bunch of broken plastic cups fall out. So, I don't know where these are coming from. Oh, it's missing on there. So, this obviously had a bunch of broken tabs. Now that that's all pushed out of there. Perfect. Alright, now that looks good. So really, now the only other trim piece that needs to be replaced on this car is this one. I broke this when I was taking the radio apart, or I don't know if it was the radio or when I was doing the shifter. One of those two, I broke this part. Um, and I've been trying to search for just this piece, but I can't find it. It always comes as one whole unit, and I'm trying not to replace the whole thing if I don't need to. But now hopping over here for the armrest. Should just be the two screws right here, and then this will pop right off. I don't know if this is normal for this to be that loose. So. And another thing that I need to fix is this cubby. Um, right now, I just double side taped it because it keeps falling open. Um, but after doing a little research, I found out there's like a little metal clip that is supposed to go in the back that keeps it hooked together. So. For now, I don't ever use this cubby anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. I just want it to not fall open, so I just double side taped it for now. But I am going to look for that clip that clips this on there, so I can use it. But now that we got all the interior stuff fixed, uh, one other thing that I have that I want to replace... So I don't know if you guys saw in one of my previous videos on the Matrix, but I went to go try to fix the coolant reservoir, but found out that it was way worse than I thought it was. So I ended up ordering a new one. This is only like 35 bucks, so it's brand new. Um, I'm going to replace that real quick, get that all going good. And also, if you guys, if anybody follows me and is interested in any stock Corolla pieces um, for a 10th gen Corolla, just let me know. We can make a good deal. Uh, but for now, yeah, let's get this coolant reservoir out and replace it. Got that headlight out. Now I can kind of see what's going on over here. Um, one thing too, I also want to see if I can try to diagnose is this fog light is not working. Um, not sure if there is a short or something going on here, but it is not working. 
I mean, just looking at some of the wiring, it doesn't look like it is the in the best shape, but hopefully once we get this off, we can kind of take a look and see what could be causing this fog light not to work. But as you can see, this has a crack all over the place, so really isn't worth saving, especially how cheap the new one was. So, and it came with new pumps as well, which is gonna be nice. So I think one of them wasn't working. So I'm gonna try to get that working as well, but let's start taking this apart. So, got the old one out, here's the new one, so, and like I said, this comes with new pumps and everything, as well as some hose, so, I don't know if I'm really going to touch the hose or not, because it literally has to get ran up into the fender well. I'll take a look, maybe it might be pretty easy, but, got the old one out, filled with a bunch of cracks all over the place, so... But it was still holding some water, but just not holding, it was holding like maybe an inch or two of water. But other than that, it was just falling out. So now that we have the replacement, we can slap this thing in there. I'm gonna try to go through some of this wiring real quick just to see why my fog light isn't working. Um, and then once I do that, then we'll throw this in and have a brand new coolant reservoir. I'm not really a big fan of doing like wiring on a car, so I really don't like taking all this apart. But a lot of it too, like all this stuff is kind of dry rotted, so it'd be nice to just clean it up a little bit. But after doing a little digging, I started unraveling where the fog light goes, and I went up and I found two wires that are actually been pretty much cut in half. So one of them is looks like the power wire to the fog light. And then the other one, I'm not sure it's going to, I'm pretty sure that's a, a like an airbag wire right there. So um, I know this car does have some airbag codes and I don't know if that is one of the reasons why. Um, but, so I'm going to fix them. So I have my trusty solder connectors here. So you pretty much just heat it up and it'll shrink wrap it and melt some solder around the wires. So I'm gonna strip these and get everything all connected and Hopefully my fog light will work, and then, like I said, I'm really honestly concerned that that is disconnected, so hopefully nothing bad goes on here, so, but let me connect this, and then we'll see if this fixes it, and then we'll try to clean this mess up. Alright, so... I soldered these things together with those connectors and now my light is finally working. So that solved that issue. And I mean, we'll start the car later to see if any other problems happen with the airbag system or not. But that did fix my problem that I was looking for. So let's clean this up, put some new wire wrap around there and try to get that looking much better. I got all the wiring all cleaned up. I put on some new um, loom. Here, I pretty much tried to clean it up as good as I could before I hit that big chunk of wires here, so that can probably be another day. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to look or what, but 
definitely could be cleaner, but this looks a million times better already and just replacing that. Um, I know this car was in an accident and this is slightly all bent and stuff like that. I'm, that's going to be my least worries right now. Probably when I get ready to paint this car, we'll probably go back and correct all this stuff. Cause I also want to look for a new, um, crash bar cause this one is bent in a little bit, but frame rail and everything looks fairly good. Doesn't look like it really hit the frame rail. I mean, the car drives good, so I don't think there's any alignment issues, but this area is where they had a little accident. They, I don't know if they hit someone or what, but, um, seems like there are some hidden things that I'm finding, like the wiring and everything like that. This was also cracked, but hopefully all that has been resolved now and I can put some, I'm still going to put water in here for just, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here before I put some actual windshield washer fluid. But for now, I'm just going to put a little water in here and test everything and make sure it works. So let's see if everything works. So we'll do the front one. All right. There's water coming out of those. Oh, there it goes. I don't know if you guys can see it. All right, finally, I have washer fluid on both windows. So that is a plus. Now let me go button everything up. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.